Hello, my name is Chris Mouflard. I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 2. In this vignette, we're going to show you how to define productivity rates in Vico Schedule Planner. This module will show you how to define productivity rates in the Task Manager. And we have assumed that you have already defined your LBS, created a task list, and assigned your tasks to the correct location systems. It is important to define the difference between productivity and consumption. A productivity rate is the rate it takes to complete a unit measured in hours. Comparatively, a consumption rate is how many hours it takes to install the same unit. Let's get started by ensuring we are in the Manage Tasks workflow with Task Manager and Cost Planner in the split screen view. When we combine either rate with a quantity, we can calculate the number of hours it takes to complete a task. Using the Manage Tasks workflow, we can start to break down the tasks to the activity and labor level. We can do this by clicking on the hierarchical nodes. Alternatively, we can navigate to the ribbon and use the expand or hierarchy double arrow key. Note the warning symbol which exists next to each task. This is because we have yet to define the consumption value. In this example, we do not need to enter a consumption value at the materials level because our component includes the number of hours it will take to complete the task. So, considering that it takes one hour to complete one hour, we already know our consumption rate. So I can simply enter one in the hours per unit column to derive the total number of hours it will take to complete the task. In the event that you make a mistake, you can use a zero to erase the field and start again. It is important to note that multiple resource components can derive the total number of hours it takes to complete a task. Let's continue to define our consumption rates. Again, we are not calculating durations here, but the total number of work hours. Durations require the addition of crew size and shift length that we will define in Schedule Planner. You'll learn more about this in the next level of vignettes. Let's open the schedule by left clicking in the Schedule Planner workflow at the level four open schedule. As we have yet to cover flow line scheduling, we can navigate to the Gantt chart view in the left-hand navigation column. Let's start by first left-clicking and dragging open to expose more of the task view. We can now see and note that a quantity has been loaded within each of the tasks that we previously applied subcomponents to. In this vignette, you have learned the difference between consumption and productivity. You have also been shown how to define a subcomponent with a consumption or productivity rate, as well as shown that a task's duration may comprise of multiple subcomponents.